We'll see how this plays out. Yeah, I mean, Riku had uh, very good games on Ice Station Obelisk in the past few tournaments. Yeah. So we'll see. The uh, Lictor nerfs didn't really seem to affect him much at this point. Yeah. And that's not what, what nerfs should do, like uh, affect a very good player to not being able to compete with other very good players just because his hero got nerfed. Yeah. I, I really think that Topi probably should have picked the Hive Tyrant, but oh, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, uh, the point with the Hive Tyrant obviously is that he cannot be flash hooked. But on the other hand, his warriors can be flash up if he choose to get some. And synapse yeah. bombs, bombs can really wreck your stuff. On the other hand, uh, the Hype Tyrant can really... Um, he, he has tools to dominate other Tyranids, like the uh, Tier 1 Claws, the... Um, yeah, and Charge Armor, and or just the Energy Shield, or something like that. I'm not... I yeah. mean, he's, he's really tough to force off for two minutes. Yeah, yeah I, I really don't. I can't play it like almost at all. They're like one of my weakest races, so <laughs> can't really say. Yeah, and the, on the other hand, the Chaos Lord is a very strong hero as well, and he can yeah, yeah, has access to some very powerful war gears. So Toby is not going for a second heretic squad. Ah, uh, he's gonna go for do yeah, double CSM. Uh, uh, that's probably not a good idea against Lictor Alpha. No probably, no I, uh, I think that's a bit sensitive to bleed against Lictor Alpha, that build. I mean, because Lictor Alpha just, uh, he just owns CSM squads pretty bad. Yeah, definitely. And once he gets warriors out, out, and he will get warriors, um, the um, the CSM will be tied up in melee all the time. Yeah. He should maybe try to get some noise marines out. Uh, double havoc, maybe. Oh, he lost his heretics. Oh. Where did? Uh, probably. To spore mines, maybe, or uh, or the hormaguns. Yeah, no, probably to uh, the hormaguns. No, the okay. hormaguns don't have any experience. Yeah, it's not them, so it must have been the spore mines then. Yeah. Or uh, yeah, probably I the think spore so mines. Too, yes. And there are the warriors. Uh, Heretics being replaced. Double CSM play might not be the best idea. And look at the map. Yeah, Riku is, has taken the map. I mean, yeah, so double CSM is kind of a solid build, but uh, it's it. I, I think it's more viable in retail, to be honest. Yeah, let's see, I mean, if he so manages to get to a tier 2, he might be able to profit from that. Yeah. But he has to survive tier 1, obviously. And uh, surviving tier 1 is kinda tough against Nits. Especially in the format of Riku. Yeah, especially. And he's going for some Havocs to control yep. the warriors, I think, and the homogons. Yeah, he basically he basically needs have a uh, actually against needs I would probably just getting double heretic CSM havoc noise marines or double havocs a I mean, pretty a pretty pretty big tier one and uh, maybe double havocs or uh, havoc noise marines. Yeah, I mean uh, the Lictor nerf. Um Affects his um, flash hook in that kind that he can't really uh, crawl deep into the 
or he has to crawl really deep into the firing yeah. arc of the Havox to get the flash hook off. So it's yeah. uh, range 34 uh, now, and the Havox have range 44, I think. Yeah. But of course, on this map, uh, it's easy to flank any kind of Havox. And you can always get the uh, deadly jump in tier 2. Yeah. Your slot gets uh, crippled. You should m maybe invest into a combi flame at some point. Yeah, not, not quite sure. Combi flame it, it is very good against nids, though. To be honest. Yeah, I mean, if he gets uh, crippled repeatedly, uh, he can still shoot the crap out of those uh, tremor guns. Yeah. And it's really bleeding them. And now he can push some power. He has an aspiring champion on his uh, Heretics. He has one um, Eternal War. And he's get he got back a little bit of map. So put on that one. Now yeah, he's he going to set up his to... box. Yeah, he's managed to stabilize situation a bit and getting off a nice little gen bash also. Yeah, and Riku is back on his base and yeah. The problem on this base is once you get a setup team to set up on the power farm, um, the opponent really doesn't get out of his base pretty much. As yeah, we it's see it. very hard. And then the Lictor uh, Flash Rock nerf will really uh, come into play, like, uh, yeah. Uh, exactly this. Yeah, very nicely done by Topi. And he's going for some noise moves on top of that. Yeah, hmm. that's. Uh, yeah, that's a good purchase, I have to say. Yeah, Revenant Brood on the way for Riku, however. So, really big tier 1 for both players. Double Toxin yeah. Sets, Homer, uh, Adrenal Glands, and the Feeder Tendrils. Yeah, the Feeder Tendrils <coughs> are kind of no-brainer against that tier 1, because... Uh, <coughs> that I mean means that you can solo the Heretics with the... Lictor Alpha and you can solo everything with the Lictor Alpha. Yeah, yeah, and everything, everything. I mean the Chaos Lord, the CSM. Wow, oh, what was that for? Leap. Yeah, that was pretty uh, <laughs> <laughs> angry-looking leap, yeah. so to speak. Okay, but here's the full retreat from Topi. He might lose his heretics to the Homo ones. I think the oh, Spring yeah. Champion is well. Enough. So Riku go. swarms back into the map. Yeah, he's gonna try to get some gens off now. Probably with the. But they're the noise marines. Noise marines being chased by the revenant brood herder. Yeah. But those noise marines will hurt these homogons really intensely if they get any shot off. But they can't. With the cacophony. Yeah. He swapped all the stuff and uh, stall out a little bit until his uh, Havocs get out of base, it's nicely done. Now, if Riku jumps the Havocs and he can just... Yeah, he can jump the Havocs now or just... He can even uh, flank it, yeah. but he jumps, okay. But he, <laughs> he suppresses the Revenants uh, mid-burrow mid, uh, strike. Whatever. He manages to protect his power from uh, most of it. It's good. Yeah, Riku's economy is... Uh, it's a lot stronger than Topi's. At least rec wise. Yeah, rec wise, and now he's got his power form back up. So if yeah. he doesn't lose that, he should be okay. Yeah, Topi is uh, now in the position to go to tier 2 as soon as he hits uh, 300 rec. Yeah, I think they're, they'll probably take up around the same time. I guess so. We can might be a little bit ahead. No, not really. Actually, probably a bit behind, but uh, just like a 10 There's seconds. There's the noise marines. Sonic Blast. The Gas Lord does power me, so he does do a little bit more damage to these warriors. Yeah. And uh, warriors retreat. Still not losing a model again. Riku has lost like one warrior model in all of his games today. Yeah, well, yeah, the well, noise marines are kind of bad at taking off models from squads like warriors. Since of course, they, they, do they just day spread week. the damage. That's a Havoc nicely yeah. set up. There's the bow strike. Yeah, that's 
nice uh, nice flanking attempt by Topi. Uh, I think Ricky yeah, Eric can yeah, use Ricky. Yeah, nice. Still Lictor. Lictor is just on capping duty all the game. And the VPs are pretty much in favor of uh, Riku at the moment. Yeah, he's managed to keep the VPs despite uh, being under some heavy pressure. That's the kind of the downside of the double CSM build is that it, it's not very good for maintaining map control, to be honest. Yeah, you're not very mobile. Yeah. You need your squads to blob up, basically. Yeah. It's especially. Uh, Hard to do versus uh, any kind of turrets. There's the flash lock on the leader of the Hebats. And this model is floating uh, strangely. Cool. Oh, no. Okay, and Riku is going for a uh, zoanthrope. Yeah, it's nothing surprising there. I think uh, either blood letters or a blood crusher would be decent choice. Toby. Blood letters, I think they're very good against Nits, to be honest. Uh, Crusher can be okay, but the Zoan Snare will screw it over so bad. Yeah, he doesn't have uh, other jump troops. Or yeah. he doesn't have any jump troops, so uh, getting the blood letters might be a good choice. Instead, yeah, he's going for double aspiring champions on his special means. That's a waste, I feel. Yeah, that's not the best investment, to be honest. I, I think he needs some, some tier 2 squad out before getting the nice. aspiring champs. And I think actually getting marks before the aspiring champs would probably be a better idea now. Definitely. And he still hasn't any upgrades on his Chaos Lord. I'm of the Inferno would be. Uh, he's going for double Mark of Corn. That's actually. Uh, it might be a pretty good idea. Wow, no, how often do you right. see that? <laughs> cool. I'm so hyped right now. Double Mark of Corn, CSN. Let's go for it. Yeah, I, I've seen Topi do it a few times. and It, it can work. But uh, if Riku gets Gene Stealers, uh, I don't feel like I, I have Riku seen getting Gene Stealers ever. Yeah, actually, um, but yeah, even with, if he gets Gene Stealers, I, I mean, Topi can just get the Demon Maul or the Chaos Lord, and yeah, like so that. Our harassment on both sides. Counter bash from Topi. Um, these uh, Chaos Space Marines, on the other hand, are uh, neglect. Uh, they basically prevent Riku from getting a Tyrant Guard out because a Tyrant Guard would be heavily countered. Yeah, they, they would really work nicely against the Tyrant Guard. That's the Lictor. Does he have the long No, he's the little jump. And this Lictor will be... There's, there's Bloodlust on the uh, corner rings. Look at the damage the Lictor takes, even while in a sinker. And this is a dead Lictor. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Killed on the jump, yeah. Yeah, there was like... Yeah, deadly jump, right? Yeah, it's a de deadly jump. Exactly. So, full retreat from, from Lictor over there. Double corner rings are doing their job. Yeah, they're... Still on Bloodlust. So, good use yeah. of uh, the Bloodlust global over there. Yeah. Well done. Very nice bloodlust. Lictor is back on the field, however. Yeah, Riku is kind of wreck starter at the moment, but um, hmm. he still has a massive VP lead. Yeah. And uh, 300 points differential. Yeah. Now he comes back out of base. Topi has enough to get some uh, blood letters. Yeah, maybe, maybe he's, he's letters. going for a dreadnought. Yeah, that would be also a good idea. Or now that he actually has those double corn CSM, he could go for a blood crusher. Or maybe even raptors. The suppressive jump would allow the uh, corn marines to get into combat. Maybe. Yeah, true. True. 
since he already has a lot of power melee DPS with the corn space marines, so and he doesn't and he has only one heretic squad so he doesn't have that much potential worship support so uh, why not raptors but uh, I think he should consider kidding out the chaos lord yeah there are so much uh, good war gears for the chaos lord even the uh, mental of fate um, with the uh, what's it called Drain light Drain ability. Light. Yeah. yeah, that's a good one. But uh, I mean, let's fight Ag against Nid. Uh, you j you really just want the armor of the Inferno. Yeah. On the other hand, I feel like it, uh, it's just so good because uh, I mean, you can use it in the same fashion. Uh, you might want to use the Raptors. Uh, I mean, you use the Raptors to disable the ranged blob so that your corn space marines can close in. So you kind of use the armor of the inferno same way so you use it for the aoe knockback there's a new bloodlust in the central spawn mine drop for retreats i mean the bloodlust uh, the um, drain life ability would be very interesting to see against the zone trope or some warrior models to get some synapse bombs or even and the uh, late turn on for obvious reasons uh, nice use of bloodlust, mostly from Topi. Yeah, and he has the Chaos Dreadnought on the field. What yeah. do you feel, vanilla Chaos Dreadnought, or should he go for a corn one? Mm. Actually, a corn one might be a pretty good I idea at this point, since he has just so much melee and just try to just try to overwhelm uh, Riku with melee. Yeah, I think that would be a very nice decision. Especially since uh, the corn dreadnought basically would be uh, very hard for Riku to kill. Yeah, since Riku doesn't have that much hard AV. I mean, he doesn't have any hard AV. <coughs> it's, it's I mean, he, he does have the zone snare, but uh, he really does have he has, doesn't have much damage. Okay, now he's got a venom brute on the way. But I mean, between Chaos Lord and two Corn Spice Marines and the Sparring Champion Heretics, there's a lot of stuff to tie up those Venom Brutes. Yeah, I feel like now it's the time for the Armor of the Inferno. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> to disrupt all the stuff. Topi is doing really well. Yeah, he's managed to even out VPs quite nicely. So. I just said that double CSM might not is probably not a good idea, but to be proved me wrong. <laughs> yeah, I mean we didn't nicely. expect a double corn marines. Yeah. <clears throat> really good stuff. And Rico's blowing up like crazy and it's uh, just asking for uh, an armor of the inferno. Yeah. The Homagon's getting toasted on the top VP. Or even in... No, he's going for the Lightning Claws. Oh... It's a bit of an odd decision. Yeah, I think the Maul would be just better. Definitely, he doesn't need damage, he has enough damage. Yeah, yeah, he, I think the disruption is more the thing I need. I mean, the... Oh, look at the uh, bombs. The synapse bombs. The, the yeah. Chaos Lord just going for the Venom Brood. Wow. And this is the venom brute. It's gonna go down. Wow! <laughs> oh my God! So so Topi is wreaking havoc on uh, yeah. his units, and R Riku doesn't have much he can do against uh, all this meaty stuff. And he's losing. No, he didn't lose. It's okay. So R Riku is really struggling. One Marine's getting away with three models. Lucky there. One <laughs> one uh, warrior model is just flying, and Might he's lose losing another, one. another model, probably, maybe. Uh, he's losing. He's he's he he just lost his gen farm also. So, I mean, to Toby not really needs more stuff. He has the better composition, I feel like. Yeah, at the moment he clearly has the better composition. 
Nice Marines on Charlie. Uh, yeah, nice Marines are gonna go down. Yeah, no, the Dreadnought is, uh. Yeah, it's just slowed. snared. Yeah, the Revenants won't do much to the Dreadnought. Yeah, not really. The Lictor is now getting swarmed by some heretics. And he retreats. He didn't yeah, he, he should probably get something, but I mean, he's, Riku is so wrecked start at the moment. Yeah, and he, is, he has a very high top, 76. Yeah. I mean the turn against are pretty much, uh, it's really hard to force them off, you pretty much need to get those synapse bombs and the composition Toby has is really good for getting those. Yeah, that's Two true. levels, cornering squads. Is he investing more into the chaos lord? Yes, he has the dark halo. Oh, he's going for the bubble build. Well, it's not a bad build. But, uh, I mean, he's very hard to force off if he goes yes. for the Lightning Claws, Halo, and the Harness of Rage. But, uh, trying to kite the Homogons into the Suppression Arc. There we go. But I feel, like, I feel like the Dark Halo build is better against Space Marines, for example, than against Nids. I mean, the Chaos Lord will be, like, unkillable for Riku. But now this uh, Dreadnought is in trouble. Oh, he suppresses all the stuff with the Havocs. Oh, good. Cool. I didn't see the Havocs, okay. Yeah. The Chaos Lord is now uh, fighting all the stuff. Is he gonna... No, he has, he has the Dark Hill. There we go. Yeah, those Venom but Brutes just barely the... got away. Oh yeah, I see it. Chaos Lord overextended yeah, it himself. He should have kill, uh, used Kill the Weak instead of the bubble. Yeah. The Lictor trying to fight some economies. And Lictor is almost going down. 48. Yeah. 40 uh, HP. He has Dreadnought still in vanilla form, he needs some repairs, but there is some spore mines <laughs> chasing the Heretics. Heretics, no! Yeah, that's kinda... that's not where Heretics want to be. But they will get about. They will get yeah, away. They'll, they'll get away nicely. However, um, Satopi is low on VP, is very low in fact. Yeah. I mean, the corn space marines are kind of. Oh, he's using blood sacrifice there. Uh, but yeah, corn space marines are kind of good choice against nids since they get the speed buff uh, and they become a quite decent capping squad. And as we saw earlier, a very potent combat squad as well. Yeah, true, true. But for, let, let's say uh, against a build that has two Hormagons, for example, or if, if Riku had Gene Stealers earlier, that would have really screwed Topi over, I think. Or at least Topi would have been forced to get, like, the Maul or... Yeah, Havocs are going Oh, down. yeah, Havocs are dead. And this game. Yeah. Interesting game, nope. nonetheless. Yeah, yeah, it's a very good game. I mean, Toppy did very well in the fights, but he just couldn't keep up with the map control. Yeah, the Chaos Dreadnought is basically unkillable <laughs> for all the stuff that's there. The Venom Brute is very low, 70 HP. And Venom Brute vibes again. Chaos Lord going to go down, yes. And that's a dead dreadnought now. The uh, zone trope is going to wipe maybe. Oh, uh, blood letters. Uh, yes. Maybe. No. You then the chase, but that's the game. And nonetheless, interesting game. Yeah, very nice game.